we're gonna make a React app from scratch, and just to just to simulate maybe I don't know potentially what one of our assignments might be like. Wink, wink. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to CodePen and try and copy one of their things. Like I'll just find someone's CodePen and be like, let's let's make that a React thing. So I'm just gonna look for a header or something like that. Okay. So cool. We're gonna take this whole page and we're gonna pull it in. And we just wanna make sure there's no JavaScript and there isn't, cool. So this should be easy. We just wanna take this code and we wanna pull it into a React app. So that's gonna be our goal. I'm gonna move that to the side because first we just have to do some stuff in our terminal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my terminal. Do, 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 uh, make it way bigger. Pew. <laughs> And all I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and I'm going to go into my bullshit folder that I don't care about. And feel free to stop me and ask questions if you don't know what's going on. And I'm going to type in npm create v at latest. And I'm going to create a new React app. And I'm going to call this one simple CSS waves just because that's the thing I'm copying. From here, I'm obviously going to choose React and TypeScript. Now I'm going to open up simple CSS waves. Okay, cool. And when I do this, I've got this little React app. I typed in bun oh, install, bun. <laughs> but you probably would just type in npm, NPM. install, mm -hmm. and that's fine. Any questions so far, Alex? None. Cool. Awesome. This is what your shit should look like in VS Code when you have it open, right? It should look like node modules at the top. It should be like... There's no nested project that you have to click into to see everything. It's all just inside of here. Does that make sense? Yeah, actually, it, it, it seemed really messy to me. So I was like looking at file path structuring and yep. all that And now stuff. this this will make a lot of your problems easier. Now that I've done this type, everything with TypeScript already kind of works. If you write shitty TypeScript, it won't work. But <laughs> the whole vibe of TypeScript works, right? And I get the sense that you're probably struggling with a bunch of build errors nothing to do with even actually writing TypeScript code. Is that correct? Um, yeah. Cool. So then I just want to make sure I'm solving the right problem. So from here, it's pretty easy. It's just a matter of go to your app, which is the main component that we spin up. And we'll talk a little bit about how this works in a second. And we're just going to delete everything here. And whatever I return here is going to go inside of, if you look in an index.html here, this is basically the whole HTML document that gets sent out. But inside of this tag that we call root, all the content that we dump is going to be inside of here. So we'll take a look at this in our DOM in a second. But what I'm going to start with is I'm going to take all my shit from the code pen. I'm going to paste it in here and we'll worry about the CSS another time. Uh, but it looks like it's unhappy with this because you have to return a single JSX element. Mm -hmm. uh, so I just need to make sure I dump everything in there. We're going to get rid of all this bullshit just because, well, we just don't want to deal with it right now. And of course, everywhere that says class, we have to refactor to class name. So mm -hmm. I'm just going to do this with a find and replace. I'm going to hit command F or control F on another thing. And I'm going to look for class equals. And usually you want to be a little bit more specific than just writing class because maybe you have somewhere else where it says class. So the more specific, the better. And we're going to replace it with class name equals. So we're just going to run through, do all that. Looks good. What are we unhappy with? I don't know if this is going to be a problem. So we're just going to leave it. Um, some of these X-Link stuff. I don't know what X-Link is. What the fuck is X-Link? I'm worried that that's some sort of framework. We'll find out. Anyways, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to type in npm run dev, and I should get something on my page. Uh, is it does it look like I want? Definitely not, but <laughs> I got I got something here, so that's that's good, I guess. <laughs> then what I could do is let's copy over the CSS, and we're going to get rid of all the other CSS on this. Which, if we look, we can just see there were CSS imports up there just to prove that. Oh, I never had it as a repository. Never mind. There were CSS imports up there. And then usually there's a CSS here too that's imported. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to get rid of those CSS imports, go back to app.tsx. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to import, we're going to call this 
stuff.css. And in here, I'm going to paste all the shit that I got from the other uh, thing. So I think this stuff. Okay. And now what I could do is I could just get the file to that. So it's going to be stuff.css. And hopefully my page looks better now. That's not it. That's it. Mm -hmm. So that looks a hell of a lot better, right? Now it's not doing all the stuff. That's fine. But honestly, that was the majority of what we did. Now, the thing I want to point out to you though, all of this content that we have here, and this is important, all of this content that we have here is inside of this root file. So it's actually inside of here. It's not inside of the body. You're going to need to understand that because in your assignment, you're going to be copying over stuff from an HTML app and you're going to have to basically debug it and you're going to have to see, oh, wait, there's some padding in here. Where did this padding come from? Where did this margin come from? <laughs> Turns out it came from the fact that you copied it over, but the other stuff was directly inside of the body. This one will be directly inside of the root. So you are going to have to tweak a little bit of styling to make that work out. Does that make sense? That's it. That's all that it takes, really. Do you have any questions for me? Okay. Um, I really don't know how I ended up creating that other folder in there. Yeah. It's an error that I've seen a thousand times, which is um, why I'm pretty quick at picking it up. It's not like I'm mm -hmm. just a genius at this. Um, yeah. Do you want me to show you an example of a couple of TypeScripty things in React real quick while I'm here? There are three Alex's in this class. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Everybody, everybody. So you're good? Okay, I'll stop it here. Sweet. Best of luck. Thank <laughs> you.